Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Pauline Aragon and I do college and lifestyle related videos. So I hope you enjoy and if you do, make sure to subscribe down below per usual. So today's video is a college Q&A for the school I go to, Loyola University Chicago. And it's all about college and Loyola and all the ins and outs. And I asked you guys on Instagram, if you don't follow this YouTube's Instagram page, it's just Pow Pow Vlogs, I'll have it on the screen. And I ask you guys questions there and polls there and I update you on all videos. So if you aren't following, I'd love for you guys to follow just so you guys can keep updated on what's going on and you can participate in anything that may be going on for the videos. So I asked you guys questions, um, to send me questions I mean, for this video and I will be answering them on this video and I'm just going to be answering in general questions about Loyola. So if you're considering Loyola, you know a little bit more from an insider's point of view, um, all the different things that I'll be talking about today. Also, I know some people, including myself, don't like to watch entire videos, I'm just here for something specific. So in the... Um, description below is what I mean. In the description below, I will have numbered the numbered times of each question. So if you're just looking for a specific question, you can just click on it and it'll take you straight to that part of the video. So you don't have to be like strolling back and forth. Or if you want to watch the whole video, I'd love for you to hear everything. So let's get right into it, shall we? Well, the first couple questions that I will be answering are just from a generic college question like lists. Um, just to kind of go over some basics from Loyola and then I have a list of the questions you guys sent me So I will be answering them. They might like mesh a little so we'll go from there. All right, so The first question on this list is why did I choose Loyola? Um, I tell this to a lot of people actually this story because well they all ask why if you were living in mexico how come you came to chicago how did you end up here um for those of you who don't know i did finish high school in mexico so sometimes a lot of people are like why did you stay in mexico why did you choose loyola why did you choose chicago all of that um simply because i actually didn't know about loyola um when i started applying for schools and one of the counselors came to my school and did a little speech about Loyola and like told us all about it and I thought, well, this school looks really cool, I'm gonna apply. And I didn't think much of it until I got in. <laughs> um, then I was like, whoa, like I'm accepted, like maybe I should look more into it. And I quickly learned that there was a lot of things that I liked about it. So that's how I ended up in Loyola. And there's just like a lot of reasons why I chose it, but I'll go more into depth later but that's just the generic story of how i came to study at <clears throat> loyola so uh, the next question is if you could go back would you choose this college again like would you pick loyola again um i would say yes just because it as i've been more of a student there um i've realized that i'm so blessed with so many resources and things um, that Loyola gives and that Loyola has access to. So I think I would choose it again if I had the chance to apply again and all of that. Um, so the next question is, what is your favorite thing about Loyola? Um, so it kind of plays in with the last one, I guess. My favorite thing I think would be that um, it is just so close to Chicago, which is a really big city. So in terms of internships and jobs, there's just so many opportunities versus if you lived in a college town, it's harder to find a job relatively close to you that might work, especially with my major, I'm an ad PR major. So a lot of communication stuff is in the city and we also have a campus downtown. So it's really nice to be close to everything and I think that's one of the biggest perks of going to Loyola. Um, you have so many resources that are so attainable for any major and any job. You have it like right there. It's super close by. So that's something I really like about Loyola in general. The next question is, is there anything you learned about the school only after you started classes that you wish you would have known before committing? Um, about the classes, I definitely was a little like obviously going into it i was like worried that it would be like really really tough and hard and impossible you know how people are like oh yeah if you get a c in college you're doing great and all of this and although um it is kind of like that and they, the classes are tough i think i went to a rigorous high school that prepared me for that so when i went in i was like oh it's just like a little harder than high school <laughs> um 
I did go to a pretty rigorous high school, so it really did prep me. So I think I was, I in general, not even Loyola, I was just like, oh, what are classes gonna be like? Am I gonna fail everything? Um, but that's not the case. If you just put in the work um, and all of that into your classes, then you usually do pretty well um, for the most case, unless it's a really hard class, right? Um, so following up with that, the next question is, do you feel challenged by your coursework? Um, I think there's some elements that play into this. You gotta pick your classes. So you are kind of picking how rigorous it can and can't be. If you choose like the simple route, it might not be as rigorous. If you choose a little bit more complicated classes and coursework, then it might get a little more challenging. And then the other factor, and probably the biggest factor, is the professor that you have for that class. Most classes have multiple sections with multiple professors, um, which it really is up to you which professor you choose. Um, a lot of college students have hacks on finding the best professors and maybe not choosing the hardest professor sometimes, but sometimes the best professors are the hardest professors. So it's just, a matter of kind of what you want, what um, kind of student you are. Um, I've experienced multiple professors um, and I can talk more about how I choose my classes in another video, but I've had really, really amazing, blow my mind professors and the classes are super hard, but I enjoy and I learn so much in them versus a really simple class that might not be giving me as much as a challenge. So if you guys want me to go into how I choose my classes and all of that, I can do a separate video, but that's kind of the gist of coursework. It's really what you choose because at the end of the day, you make the decisions for all your classes. So, um, so it asks how long will it take you to graduate and why? So most people take four years to graduate. My plan as of now is four years, but I am a little bit of he ahead because of summer coursework that I've done and credits that I already came in with. So right now it's four years, but it might be less. That'd be nice, less tuition, right? Um, so maybe less, but I'm thinking about adding another another element to it. Um, it's still in progress, we're not sure yet. So um, maybe that will add a year or a year and a half. The next question I think I get a lot, um, how approachable are professors, college staff, the college president? So professors, in general, professors are very accommodating um, and very open to talk with you. I know there are exceptions, but in general, they're pretty, pretty open to talk to you, especially if it has to do with your grade or um, the way you are processing the information. Um, a lot of professors have office hours. Um, if I'm honest, I don't use the office hours as much as I probably should, but I do um, try to make a relationship with every professor by either speaking to them before class or after class of any questions I may have or just um, so they know who I am on a name basis. That's something I really like about Loyola. The biggest class I've had is like maybe 50 students and I know there's larger classes but that's the largest I've had. So most professors do know who you are especially if you make a good impression and what do I mean by that like saying hi when you walk in good afternoon good morning whatever it may be um, thanking them on the way out and such will really um, make your name stand out which is really nice because sometimes those professors can help you with other resources or other connections that you may need I've had professors that have really immerse themselves into their students. They really care about who you are, where you come from, what you're trying to do. And those are really nice professors, but that's not always the, the case. Sometimes professors just keep it a more of student teacher relationship and they just don't take that extra step. I've had both um, professors that don't know my name and professors that like to sit down um, and talk and converse and stuff and get to really know you so in general they're pretty approachable and all of them have office hours i think that's the thing at loyola that they all must have office hours i'm not sure on that but if you need to talk to a professor they're usually available and if those times don't work for you because of your schedule they can accommodate a special time for you to meet them if you just reach out um Next question is, what is dorm life like? So at Loyola, um, you're required to stay in dorms or student housing for the first two years of your college experience. And they say, um, in order for you to like, be more connected to your community and closer and like, there's just like a lot of benefits they give you. Personally, one year was enough for me, but we're just going with it. Um, 
I can give you guys a tour of where I'm living so you can kind of see what it's like. I technically live in a freshman dorm even though I'm a sophomore. Um, that's just how things turned out this year. But in general, it's pretty nice. They keep everything, what would, they keep everything like very up to date and like if there's an issue in your room they're quick to fix it um with my ra experience it's been really nice i've had two really nice ras um never had an issue at all so it's been really nice um they're really approachable too for whatever you may need but in general dorm life is not too bad um i love that it's very close to campus obviously it's like literally on campus and security wise it's nice because you know although it can be a hassle to check people in and out you also know that there's an element of safety where you are living especially when you live close to a city that can be a little intimidating so in general it's really nice but i can also again go more into depth if you want to know more about it um so the next question is what do you do on the weekends so on the weekends uh, it could vary from me staying home studying going into the city or doing club and organization related things it's really just a toss in the air what is going on that weekend like i said one of the biggest things loyola has is that we are so so close to the city whether you take the shuttle and it's like 25 minute ride or you take the train or you take the public bus like it is super super accessible like you could literally walk <laughs> downtown i mean it might take you a little longer right but you would make it in time and you'd be fine um so that's one of the biggest perks in terms of social life and in terms of activities for the weekends you can access pretty much anything any kind of museum any kind of food related stuff any kind of um social outings like it is all there so Although at Loyola there might not be too much going on, you know you have the city pretty close to you. Um, sometimes I'll be doing club or organization related things, so I'll be on campus. Um, sometimes you just need to stay home and study and chillax. So it's really much like pretty much what you make of it and what you decide to do. But a big perk is having Chicago so, so, so close. We technically, so Loyola technically is in the city of Chicago. It's just like really up north, but downtown, downtown, like where everything is, is like really, really close, right? The next question is, what is your favorite place on campus and why? There are, Loyola is really, really, really pretty. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, I recommend that you do. Um, but there's, it's just very, uh, like, fit, like um, visually appealing. Um, I think two places that I really like to hang out in are places that have views of the lake, which is so pretty. We're literally on the lake. Um, so there's like multiple places where you can find that. And um, I also like just sitting by the lake. It's really nice. And if you just need a breather, <laughs> you'll always find a student just kind of looking into the distance and thinking about life. <laughs> um, it's really cute. But yeah, I can go more into like spots at Loyola's campus that not everyone might know about. I'll spill the secrets. Um, if you want to see that, then also let me know. Next question is, how's the food? So there's a lot of questions about dining halls and like how that works. Um, so students that live on campus usually have a combined plan to eat on campus as well. Um, usually unlimited swipes. Um, my experience at the dining hall has been A-OK. -okay. <laughs> um, it's not my favorite place, but it could be worse, I guess. Um, you just kind of have to be picky with what you find, like what you grab, and just try things and figure out what you like and what you don't. Um, personally, I think, for instance, the omelet bars are usually okay, and they taste pretty fine <laughs> to me. Um, but sometimes, like, lunches and dinners and stuff like that aren't... Especially, like... On the healthier side so at first it may be okay but like at this point i'm just like <laughs> i try to just make my own food when i can and i still go because i'm paying for it but i try to just mix it up because it can get kind of it can get kind of boring and it's just not it's okay you know so it's at the end of the day like a big cafeteria for a ton of people like you can't expect a super high quality meal but if you look around, you can try to find like the best thing for you and like just make it work. It's it's not that bad. Um, so the next question is, are the hours of campus facilities convenient for students like the library, dining hall, fitness center, and all that? Um, let's start with the library. So the library 
is Kadehi Library and it's attached to the Information Commons or the IC as Loyola students call it. And it's really nice because although Kadehi closes at 12 a.m., the IC is open 24 hours a day, which is wonderful for students that need to stay up late to study or do projects or whatnot. It's a really big space where you can just like work on whatever may be needed. And it's really nice. It's also on the lake, so it has usually really nice views. And there's a lot of resources that you can find within the IC. So that is one of the biggest perks that we have in terms of studying um, library slash the IC. Although the library closes, the IC remains open, so it's nice if you don't want to stay in your dorm um, to study, there's space there. And then you have like private study rooms and bigger spaces for big groups and all that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of the dining hall, it's like none of them are 24 hours, which sometimes is a bummer um, because I have run into times where I'm leaving a class like i've had a class that ends at 9 30 and by the time i'm back on campus it's 10 30 and nothing's open so that is like sometimes when it's like dang they usually close at nine unless it's a weekend they might close earlier like at eight i don't know the exact times um but it's something like that and then in terms of the morning they open some days at seven and some days at eight which is a little inconvenient because if you have an 8.30, you have to eat really fast. And sometimes there's lines, so it gets a little complicated. But in general, it's okay. Um, we also have in Damon, which is the student center, the food court. And you can like purchase things there. And there's more food options that are usually open to later. I think about 1 a.m. So that's another option that I have used when the dining hall is closed. And then fitness center. So our fitness center is Hallis. And I think it's pretty reasonable. Um, the pool I know closes at different times. I know we have a pool. Most people don't know we have a pool. We have a pool. Um, <laughs> the pool closes at earlier hours. Um, I'm pretty sure they open at 6 a.m. I'm not entirely sure what time they close. Maybe midnight. Um, but the hours are usually, I would say, pretty nice for the, for the gym. Um... All right, so the next question is all about transportation. They ask, is a car necessary? How is public transportation near campus? Personally, I would say a car is not necessary, especially your first few years. I really don't think you need a car. Um, all students get a venture card, which is a card that gives you access to public transportation. And it's included in your tuition, so you don't have to pay extra, um, but it gives you unlimited access during the school year. So you can ride the cta like the um the l and the l takes you anywhere literally um or you can take the bus which is also really nice a lot of people don't use it but it takes you just as far as or even further than the train does and it's all included in your cta card or your venture card um so it's really nice um to have that and I've honestly just used that in terms of transportation. I haven't really needed a car. I have friends that have cars and sometimes we use them, but sometimes it's just easier to use transportation because you don't have to worry about parking because then you have to like worry about that all the time, right? So it's not really necessary at Loyola. So a big question that might come up when talking about Loyola, especially recently, is safety. Um, there has been a lot of um, heightened safety issues around campus. Um, but I think a lot of students are just, they're very prepared in general when it comes to a big city. So like Chicago or any other big city, you have to take a lot of safety precautions. Um, if you're on public transportation or just walking around, um, we like to stress to always walk with a friend wherever you're going. It's just safer. Um, and to just be aware of your personal surroundings. I personally have a pepper spray that I carry around just because that makes me feel a little safer. And I have an app on my phone um, that's for like emergencies and stuff that I just have to press it and the like the police will be notified if there's like a situation. And there's also a way to do it on your phone if you like click the power button three times, it'll also set off an alarm. Um, but just taking precautions like that, um, especially with heightened security issues that have been happening lately. But in general, I feel very, very safe on campus um, for the most part and in Chicago too. Um, on campus, we have the blue light things that you've probably seen at other schools. You press it, they're notified. 
pretty easy. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the the little a little spiel on safety because there has been like heightened safety issues lately. Um, also, I'm in a group on Facebook that just like people can like put if they've seen anything suspicious or anything that happened to them, like just to notify students on campus. Um, another question is how is the Wi-Fi on campus? So. Wi-Fi is like, they explained it to me at orientation, I think. It's like a big bubble around the campus. So whether you're outside, in a dorm, in a building, there should be Wi-Fi access everywhere. I've never really had an issue with Wi-Fi. Like sometimes it gets glitchy, but like very rarely. Um, but yeah, anywhere I open my computer, boom, Wi-Fi. So that's not too much of an issue that I've seen. So any advice for admissions? I'll get more into that because I know there's a question somebody asked about applying and all of that. Um, the next one is, were there any surprise costs you did not know about before committing to college? Um, I think in general, it hasn't been too much of a surprise, like the price cost, like of tuition, and t because it's not like they like said, oh, that you're paying this much and then later it turned out to be more um i think more than anything it's just the cost of like being a student and like everything that goes into that but that's not legal as fault. that's just in general college is expensive in every way and shape and form right so for loyola nothing of any surprise in those terms um and the next question is do you have any advice for applying to housing okay i cannot stress this enough no one told me this <laughs> so when you go visit schools you usually go visit their housing and like all their options and i did that but i did not visit all of the housing options because i was like oh no no no, i don't want that one i want these three other ones like i just want one of these three other ones <laughs> so when it came to put down my options i put like the three that i liked and called it a day when i got my housing assignment things were different. Um, I got my last option that I put down, like, cause you have to rank them all, right? Um, the one that I did not want is the one I got, <laughs> lovely. When I, I got my housing assignment, then I had to pick a roommate from there, someone that lived in that building as well. Um, but then some people had already picked roommates and when they got their housing assignments, they were different than like their roommates. So they had to find new roommates. Um, so my biggest tip on that is do not stress about housing because chances are you're not going to get what you want Some people get really lucky and they do some people just it's random pretty much they say like oh, yeah priority deadline whatever It doesn't matter. Well at least in none my experience um, So honestly personally I would wait until you get the building you're in and then try finding a roommate whether it be on Facebook or however you want to find your roommate um, that's how I did it and it worked out okay um, but I would just wait because I saw so many people have roommates and then they got split which which sucks right um, so just kind of do that I would say um, and then for second year students it's a lottery system or like upperclassmen I guess it's a lottery system I got so unlucky and so did my roommate we got really bad lottery numbers and that's why we live in a freshman dorm um, but for the most part it's just like random and you hope for the best so i learned now that you gotta stop stressing about housing because chances are you're just gonna put, be put somewhere random and doesn't really matter at the end of the day and it works out in the end too so that's my advice on that now let's go over to the questions you guys had for me um i won't say names because i don't know who wants to be in my video and who doesn't so i'll just go through the questions um the first one was how is sorority fraternity life on campus is it very present is it not so i'm in a sorority um and i'll make sorority videos with recruitment coming up and everything if you would like to see them um like what i wear all of that um that's really fun and i think it'd be a really cool way to like capture um recruitment and like look back in a few years but so i personally am in one i'm going to talk about my experience before going into it and then coming out like now being in one and how presence on campus feels like to me um so personally before i joined a sorority i did not see or at least i didn't notice any sorority or fraternity life on campus like i just i i did not notice it maybe it was because i wasn't looking for it or whatnot but i just didn't really notice that much sorority kind of stuff or fraternity stuff the only thing i noticed was when they did tabling i would see that they had like a setup right 
now after I'm in a sorority I see it everywhere <laughs> obviously it's a lot it, it catches my eye a lot more than it used to but um yeah so now it's just everywhere that I go um and I think it's just obviously because I'm more involved and I know I'm kind of more aware of my surroundings in that sense um I think it's it's present on campus, but you don't have to be in Greek life to have a good college experience. It's really um, up to you and what you want. Personally to me, Greek life has been great and I have so many, so many positive things to say about it. And I've met so many people through my sorority, um, but it doesn't mean that you have to be in Greek life to have sort of a presence on campus. It's really up to you and if that's something you wanna do, then it's there and it's really nice and I think Loyola's way of having Greek life is very open to whoever wants to do it. So if you want me to talk more about that, I am open and glad to talk about it. There's so many things I would love to talk about. The next question is moving away for the first time in hardships. Um, as I mentioned, I my parents are living in Mexico. I'm from like I finished school in Mexico, so I was going pretty much abroad to like study college. Um, although I already lived in the U.S., I hadn't lived there in a while, and I was going by myself for the first time. So at first it was like a little scary, but I think also with the excitement of everything, I didn't really think about it that much. Um, it wasn't until like the next semester that I really felt super homesick, especially because I'm very very close to my family. So it started a hit. <laughs> it hit me like whoa. <laughs> um, but I think it's important to surround yourself with good people that you can like feel at home with, and then also be just busy, busy, busy. So you kind of don't think about it. <laughs> um, and that's kind of how I've dealt with it. But in general, it gets easier as time goes by. You get more used to. You get more comfortable to where you're living, who you're with, and all of that. And coming home is just great all the time of course um the next question as i mentioned earlier that i was going to answer now i guess um how's the application process so like i mentioned earlier we had the counselor come into my school and one of the things that grabbed me from that presentation was oh our application is super easy just apply and then go from there and i thought oh like that's nice like i can just apply rather quickly and then we'll see what happens and that is exactly what happened that's how i ended up in loyola because he mentioned how easy it was to apply and it was pretty simple um and the process was really fast because it's rolling in admissions so i think that was a really nice positive thing about loyola in terms of the application process it was pretty simple in terms of colleges in general i can go into a whole video on tips and everything in terms of application process and like getting into college and like my experience um so let me know if you want to watch that but that's just kind of the gist in terms of Loyola um next was something you didn't expect from college I think um just kind of the transformation from being like a teenager and try like slowly emerging into an adult you get so many new responsibilities and especially if you're living far from home you have to learn things really fast <laughs> even if it's just like how to like put laundry or how to navigate in a city by yourself and you really become your own adult and you start making your own decisions so it's really nice in a way because you you become the boss of yourself and you decide things that are right and good and not for you kind of thing but also it's like you're an adult <laughs> you have to act like an adult you have to fulfill your responsibilities you know so i think i knew that was coming that freedom and responsibility was coming but i didn't realize how much you grow and it how much it molds you while you're in college last question before i end this video is who was your first friend and how did you meet them so i can go more into depth than this again like all of the questions i answered right um but my first friend and i'm still friends with her her name is mary um we met at loyola's 360 retreat which is um a series of um weekends that freshman students are allowed to attend it's called again loyola 360 um and you go to their retreat campus and you do a ton of stuff and like reflecting and get, getting ready it, to go into college it's optional but i went because i wanted to get to know more people and i thought it sounded like a really fun experience um and i actually met a couple other people not just mary but she was like my first friend um and it was really nice because you get to reflect a lot before you go to school. Obviously, I went, well, I went to the first 
session of the year but there's like different ones so you can accommodate to your schedule um but i can go more into my 360 experience it was so nice i recommend it to any freshman going in because i did make a lot of friends out of that retreat like mary um we were paired up for one of the activities and we just really clicked and now we're really good friends so shout out to mary um if you're watching this um yeah, she was my first friend and that's how we met. So if you have any more questions on anything that I talked about or something was confusing or you just want more information about Loyola, make sure to comment down below and I will get to you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.